Hello, I'm Dr. Christy Lukes, and I'd like to talk to you today about what exactly is sustainability. And I want to give you some definitions that will guide you as you work on the AICHE Chemical Engineering for Good project. Our hope is that students are going to be motivated by this to solve some of the world's great challenges. For instance, 768 million people lack clean water. 1.4 billion lack access to electricity. 2.6 billion lack adequate sanitation. And 2.7 billion rely on biomass energy for cooking. So, to solve these, we need to come up with sustainable solutions. The question, therefore, is what is sustainability? Frequently, our answers are something vague like, well, we're going to meet our engineering goals while preserving our natural resources, which is not wrong. It just is not a very satisfying answer. Sometimes the best way to find the answer to a question is to look at what it isn't. So let's look at what is not sustainable. Let's look at some ecological systems. For instance, this is sort of the first kind of thing that comes to mind to most people, is a little micro-enterprise that consumes a scarce natural resource so that no one else is able to use that in the future. But there are other examples. For instance, an irrigation project that leaves insufficient drinking water for some of the residents. Or a water project that results in runoff of animal wastes that go into the drinking supply. Or digging wells that supply unhealthy, dirty water. These are all things that are not sustainable on an ecological basis. Usually this is where most people sort of stop. But that's not the whole story. There are other forms of sustainability that we must consider. So let's look at some economic situations. A pump may require regular replacement with unaffordable spare parts, or perhaps ones that must be imported from another country, not available where they live. Or a project with ongoing operation costs, power, maybe you're having to continually add some sort of raw material, or transportation, whatever, but greater than what the community can support. Economically, these are not going to be sustainable. But there are technical challenges also. A pedestrian bridge may be fine most of the time, but it doesn't work for the spring flash floods. Or a road that can't be repaired using local labor and materials. People must be brought in from the outside. Or a pump that requires maintenance that is beyond the skills of the local um, residents. Installing imported lighting fixtures and you can't get the replacement parts. Using local steel cables for a bridge that isn't certified for the load. Or providing instruments in a health clinic that rely on electricity that is unreliable. But there are political issues also. For instance, if the local community cannot collect monthly water fees from the residents, they cannot sustain their water system. Or the water board may be corrupt so that it collects fees but isn't spending them appropriately as learn using those to line their own pockets. Or the inability of the local community to equitably distribute the benefits of the project throughout the community so that it only benefits a few. There are cultural issues also. The community may accept the project as a gift rather than taking ownership. After a while, since they didn't really own the project, they no longer will use it. Or wiring components vandalized because the copper was more valuable than the project itself. Or misunderstanding the local culture, as shown in this 
image here where eco latrines in a community were not being used because we had not come back to town to give a blessing ceremony. And so we did have to finally hold a blessing ceremony in order to get them used. So at this point, I hope that you have a little bit of an understanding of what sustainability means. And we hope that you are going to be one of our great participants in the AICHE Chemical Engineering for Good program. Thank you.